Hey guys, it's Sam. Um, and today I wanted to participate in the RPG a day, day one question. And I thought I would do it live <clears throat> just to, um, why not? Just to see how that'll go. But um, to the so the first question for August 1st, 2017 for RPG a day is basically what published RPG, RPG do you wish you were playing right now? <clears throat> and so I'm going to approach this actually uh, from two different directions, one as a player and one as a game master. So this one was hard because <clears throat> I've gotten to play a few games out there um, in my time, which is great. And right now, I'm actually in the enviable position of being able to play several different systems. So, you know, at first I was kind of thinking, oh, well, I want to be playing Fate, but I, I am getting to play Fate. In fact, I'm getting to play that this weekend. Um, <clears throat> and then... Then I was thinking, well, what do I want to run? And lately I've been digging a lot into OSR gaming, as you guys might know if you followed the channel. So in terms of running, I really want to run basic fantasy RPG. Um, <clears throat> it looks really cool. It's a very simple rule set. Um, gets you that very old school D&D &D feel. And lately I've been craving a little bit more old school fantasy. Now, I'm fortunate in that I'm getting to play the Black Hack, um, going through Keep on the Borderlands. We played our first session, I think, last week or a couple weeks ago um, <clears throat> with Alan Holloway as the Game Master for, from Check for Traps on YouTube. Uh, the first session is up on his channel, so check that out. But that kind of gave me a taste for it, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to run some uh, a couple of one-shots in Basic Fantasy here just to give that a shot, and then I'll probably start up a campaign at some point um, in Basic Fantasy RPG. I went ahead, I have the core book, um, and I went ahead and ordered the Bestiary as well as the Adventure Anthology in hard, uh, not hardcover, but in uh, softcover, so that I, because I have a hard time reading PDFs, so. So there's that. So what do I wish I was running right now is um, Basic Fantasy. And if that's one of the later questions, I'll probably answer the same thing later. But then I was thinking about it in terms of, like, what do I wish I was playing, at, you know, just as a player? And this one was hard because there's a lot of different systems out there that I want to try. You know, I want to try Fantasy Age as a player. I think that would be great. That's, that looks so much fun. And I think at some point I will probably run that system because... You know, despite some of my previous videos and posts and whatever, I don't mind games that have a little bit of crunch to them. I don't mind games that have a, you know, a little bit more complexity in terms of character creation and all that. Um, with Fantasy Age, that's about it. I think the character creation is a little bit complex. and I mean, just a little. Um, but the system seems really super easy to run, and the stunt system sounds phenomenal. So uh, that one at first was the one I was thinking that was going to be the one I want to play the most, um, especially because uh, like Ashes of Alcana is really cool, um, and and that's a setting that I want to explore. And also Dragon Age, I'm not familiar with Dragon Age the lore very much, but it seems wicked cool, and the system is is the same pretty much as Fantasy Age, slight differences. <clears throat> so that looks really neat, but. There's other systems that I want to play <clears throat> as well. Um, hey, Mark, how's it going? Mark Plorid says, Age can be really fun. Had a blast doing the tabletop version of Dragon Age. Yeah, um, I think I, I think it was in James' um, video that he just did on DCC, maybe, or, or the one where he was talking about Quattro Con Carnage, where he said you did a fifth one in Dragon Age, and uh, said it was a blast. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That looks really cool. And then I was thinking, okay, well, I love the Cypher system. Um, I've run Cypher System Core, you know, just right out of the Cypher System Core rulebook before, and I was thinking that'd be fun to play. Um, but then, oh, and Predation especially, but I really love Numenera. <clears throat> like, of all of the settings within Cypher System, Numenera is the one that, that gets me the most. But I'm getting to play Numenera later this month. Um, there's a one-shot... Uh, that my friend Connor is going to be running for us. So that should be really fun. And I've gotten a couple of opportunities to play Numenera in the past as well. So, uh, I don't know. So maybe not that one, right? Um, 
And then, you know, there's a, a couple others. I mean, Simbarum I've wanted to try. Um, I think it was, uh, not Simbarum, what was the other one? The Conan um, Adventures. Adventures in Middle Earth and One Ring I've been wanting to look at um, and, and play. But the big one for me that kind of trumped all of them is Savage Worlds. I've played Savage Worlds one time before, and it was a lot of fun. And it's a system that I keep thinking I might want to run, but it's just got a little bit more crunch to it. There's there, It's sort of a rules medium game, but there's a lot of subsystems and there's a lot of different rules to interact with. And it's also one that is tricky for me because it's built around playing with miniatures and on a, you know, on a, on an actual tabletop and you can do it without miniatures and you can do it. Um, you could even do it without using the cards for initiative. Although I really like that, but in terms of being a player, it's a really fun system. And I love the exploding dice. I love the bennies. Um, I love how, edges and hindrances work, how they can inform your role play, and also you can get a mechanical benefit to them. So, and I love how versatile the system is and how it can handle so many different settings, right? And how it's a great thing for pulp settings, especially. So I would love to play more Savage Worlds. Um, I want to try it out in, you know, various settings. I mean, I want to try uh, sci-fi, fantasy, you know, uh, cyberpunk, all of the above. Um, and then, so, so Savage Worlds would be the one that I want to play the most, probably followed by, by Fantasy Age. Um, and then probably Cypher System. So anyway, I look forward to answering the rest of these questions. Um, they may not all be live. I might decide to just do some recorded ones. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but I encourage you guys to check it out. If you haven't already, go ahead and go over to, um, you can go to Casting Shadows blog. Um, <clears throat> I think there's various other places. I think the RPG Brigade might have it as well, uh, where you can find the infographic. I'm going to put it up as the um, thumbnail for this video. So you can always grab it from there if, as well if you need to. But um, go ahead, you know, th these are fun. Go ahead and check them out. Answer the questions yourself if you can. It's really neat to see what other people are playing and, and what people's interests are. And, you know, hopefully maybe you find somebody who's interested in the same games that you want to play. And maybe, you know, you can make a connection and actually start playing those games. So anyway, I look forward to hearing from you guys and happy gaming.